Hello and happy gaming everybody. My name is Dark Sage Walker and after that last run I can in I can indeed confirm mo money, mo problems. So today we're slipping back into something a little bit more comfortable. We're gonna do a mid to long range critical hit based build, which means no dark katana, so about the best critical hit thing we have is the analytical monocle. Then we're going to do Perforating Jet, Wave Front, Chaotic Buster, Tracer Barrage, and the good old Standby Awe for the plus 12% critical hit chance and plus 20% critical hit damage. So, that, like I said, it's I've done this a lot, it's nothing new, but after, after getting a run where you get stomped on, it's nice to go back to the old standby. It's like wearing a comfortable sweater. Um, yeah, I don't really want to do any of this. I normally don't take one of Nox's relics, so there you go. Oh, Atlas is not even in the trial this time. Okay, good. Alright, to me, his levels are the hardest, so to not see him show up at all <sighs> makes me feel a lot better about my chances, not gonna lie. Alright, so what are we going to be looking for? Well, the obvious thing is we're gonna be looking for upgrades to... upgrades for some of our abilities. The obvious one is the perforating jet. We're definitely going to want upgrades for that. But on top of everything else, we're, we're going to be looking for other preferably long, preferably ra rapid fire, long, long range spells, or at least projectiles. As long as it's projectile, it's all it's all good. But, I have Analytical Monocle, and it doesn't specify between Projectile and Melee, so... If I get a spell that's just particularly good for critical hit builds, but it's not necessarily Melee, you know what? I guess I can... I guess I can... or it's not, or it's not necessarily Projectile? You know, I guess I can live with that. I see you over there, Anders. Alright. Fortunately, that room was easy enough to handle. Why, yes, I will take that. And I'm detecting potential unicorn outfit if I can find the Equester cap. Mmm, mm, that's good lemon-lime hydration. Alright, but first let me see what Iris has for sale. That's... Mm, and I don't just want to drop all, drop half my money on the unicorn tail. Let's get real here. Actually, breaking twister is pretty good for this particular type of build. It's got a lot going for it, so yeah, I will buy that. All right, and yes, we picked up Cabby's raw chocolate. And we still have another 44% of the floor to look for stuff with. Yes. It's everywhere. Oh, that was nice. Yes, just come walk into my twisting, uh, twisting, tumbling web of wind. I promise it'll be nice to you. It's just, it's just like getting a massage, over and over again, in the face, with, you know, little hammers. It doesn't feel like a massage at all. Well, I mean, that's kind of the point. I love it. All right. 
Alright, this is actually working out pretty nicely. I'm liking this run so far. One of my big complaints about breaking Twister is actually handled when you upgrade it, and that is that I don't like how it just keeps going. With breaking twi with up with the upgrade, it actually just kind of stops. Oh, I can just hold it. Okay. I don't have to just rapidly jam on my X button. I can just hold it. Well, way to make me feel like a dumbass. But Dark Sage, you I know. Oh, hello, sir. Ugh, I don't feel comfortable picking that up right now. There's no reason why I couldn't, but at the same time, I just don't feel comfortable with the with the bad with the bad activation speed. So whether it's a good idea or not, I am gonna leave it. On the other hand, I am take, picking up the unicorn tail. Why? Because rainbows. Sometimes there just doesn't need to be another reason. By the way, for those of you who aren't sure what Chaotic Buster is, it's a lot like spells like Ball Lightning or Raging Inferno. Except for you can then hold it, and it'll fire off those little like sparks that go in every which direction. That's not the important part of the spell. The important part of the spell is the condensation of little dark matter orbs that you fire off afterwards. And that, to me, is the important part. Obviously. The important part of any charge up spell, to be frank. But that's what that is. It's, it's a combination between the usual charge up spell mechanics and and rapid hit. And it is of the dark element, or chaos as they call it in this game, but you know, fuck that, it's the dark element. So, that means it affects everything except for Sura equally. And it starts off charged, or upgraded, I should say. Excuse me, fellas. It's like I'm playing the drums on his head. That's a pretty rapid fire percussion. Have, have you heard some of the uh, some of the death metal bands that are out there? Oh, blurring falconry. Oh, that's so good. I mean, I'm a little annoyed that I haven't found a, an upgrade for perforating jet yet, but this is one of the ones that I can handle not having the upgrade for it. But, at the same time, more survivability is not a bad thing, and I would get both- I would get survivability with both the Pendulum and the Locket. I think, arguably, it's better to go with one of those, so... MJ Chakra Locket. I know we had that relic yesterday and, you know, bombed hard, but I don't think that was the fault of the Locket. I think there's a combination of, let's let's be fair, some poor play on my behalf, along with the idea that I just didn't have a lot going for that run. So by the time I got to round three, I'm not going to say I didn't have a lot going for me on the run. I feel that the run itself was pretty, was pretty good. The problem is that Atlas on rank three is just awful. 
frankly, I don't like him on rank 2 all that much. There we go. Just wanted to make sure he was dead. I don't, li I don't like leaving behind any, any incriminating evidence. That's an awful lot, Dark Sage. You sure you want to admit all that while you're recording? Here we go. Alright, so the run is going smoothly so far, but... How, thing, how things look on the first level is not usually indicative of how things will end up. So we'll see how things how things proceed when the difficulty in increases. Hello again, sir. Hey, you have a tiny crocodile heart. I will take that because I actually feel like I can make good use of it since I'm finding it early. Now, this does mean that something like the Raspberry Cookie Box or something along those lines would help quite a bit. Jade Chakra Locket will help, but I would like something that <clears throat> that gives me more health than that back. I just love sitting there just watching them take all that damage. Maybe I'm just sadistic. I didn't even see you get in my way, you little jerk. Uh, no thank you. Cecil, why are you so upset, buddy? You, you turn it, you turn it into Riku. You just mad that I'm not over there? I'm almost guaranteeing that's that's what the problem is. All right, so we can hope. Hopefully I can 3-cycle her, but... Eh, nope. That's right, her signature just takes... Him. Just him, takes up so much space and lasts so long. Searing Crown, not bad. Alright, so that's that'll be another... That'll be a good get-off-me option. And it scores multiple hits, with, which works well with the theme of critical hit builds. Am I going to hold on to it? I'm not sure yet. Oh my god, I hate Elemental Summoner so much. Why did anyone think that this was an okay thing to do?
Like, I'm fine with things being difficult, but the elemental summoners are such a di are such a dis or are in such unbalance of the rest of the game's difficulty that it just turn it turns everything from from a game of average difficulty to to just a complete impossibility. Incidentally, I think that's where my trouble started on yesterday's run too, is with elemental summoners. And now it's starting to look like this run isn't going to go anywhere. Oh, elemental summoners are probably the um, the thing that really throws you off the most in this game. Alright, so, yeah, and apologies for getting real quiet, now I'm just noticing, oh, hey, my run is almost, my run is almost dead. I need to kind of focus a little bit so that I don't run, so that I don't need a premature end. Okay, I know what room this is, so I know what to expect. Okay, so we more or less made it. I hate to have to buy a healing potion so early in the so early in the run, but if I don't, then I'm just goddamn dead. The other items there are okay, and I don't I'm not sure any of them are necessarily what I'm looking for. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the health orb. Whew. I need a lot more of those to really to really feel like I'm be like I'll be in the clear, but But as of right now, I do feel a little better. All right, did she have anything I wanted? Not really. Alright. Well, no harm, no foul there. I certainly don't feel like I have the health pool enough to to take Seville's outfit upgrade, which is a shame, because this is one of the definitely one of the better outfits to upgrade. Now, if I can make it through, why am I being careful? The spikes are down. Now, if I can make it through the boss, through the through the midpoint boss here, without without taking too much damage, then I might I might take Seville's upgrade. Make no mistake, I want to take his upgrade as is, but. Alright, so that actually looked like a pretty good fight. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a chance. So that boosts it to 18% critical hit chance at base, 
and then 30% additional critical hit damage. That is a big boost from where we were. 1220 to 1830. I know going from 12 to 18 doesn't seem like a huge critical hit bonus, but that's an extra 50%. That's that, that's an awful lot. And when you're talking about critical hit chances, that extra little bit goes a long way. Oh, screwed up. Get back here. There we go. At least wanted to get the elemental guy out of the way. And take you out. Definitely not to the friggin' ball game. I see you over there, Pocket Watch. I'm not sure I want to pick that up because that actually lowers my signature charge, and right now, especially with something like Tracer Barrage, you definitely want to hold on hold on to as much critical hit chance or not critical hit chance. Um, signature charge as possible. There we go. This is Cremire. Thing is, I don't really have any relics that I want to drop. So, we'll see. Actually, you know what? I do have a relic I want to drop. I was wrong. Thank you. There we go. Alright, now I feel like I'm in control again. If I run into another room with two elemental summoners, though, there will be complaining. It's a shame I can't remember what exactly it was I was talking about. Yeah, it's just not coming back to me, so maybe clip that one on the head and start a new topic, maybe. Tesla coil is a good thing to have. Not worried about having the vitamin gummies, which, you know, where was that when I needed it? So, let's choose a different direction. Yeah, I have no idea what I was talking about before I got gangbanged by wind elemental summoners, so... Eh. I suppose the best thing to do is clip that on the head and just talk about whatever else is on my mind, which, at the moment... Oh, here we go again. That's a, that was a lovely fight. So, how many of you are giving One Step From Eden a try right now? I'm curious, oh thank you, I'm curious because I have been playing that game myself, and I just want to know, do you ever get used to the bullet hell nature of the later stages? It's not, it's not dissuading me from playing the game, but my goodness, it's punishing. I might be, you know, complaining a little bit less about that had I ever played the Battle Network games, but remember what I said yesterday, I dismissed Battle Network because it's not Mega Man! Okay, well, this is... 
This is probably the end of the run right here, not gonna lie. Thinking the purchase of Tiny Crocodile Heart was a complete waste. Well, actually, Dark Sage, you didn't purchase it. You were given. I mean, you shut up. <laughs> the same. The same thing still applies. I'm pretty sure that was a, that was a bad acquisition on my behalf. Oh, of course, I don't even get a chance to dodge it. That's nice. Okay, I really can't stand this guy. And that is damn near pointless. All right. <clears throat> All right, so I usually don't have a ton of complaints about Freya on level 3. The enemies that I dislike the most here are the Icy Archers. And we'll see how that goes. Yeah, like you jerks. I'm also not the biggest fan of you guys either. Get the hell out of my face. Alright, back, back to the topic of one step from Eden. One thing that I am happy about is that I only have one character left to unlock. Problem is, it's the shopkeeper, and I don't know how much you guys know about the game, but the shopkeeper is easily the hardest character to unlock. So, anyone with any hints on how to defeat her, I would appreciate it. But, I've been looking up some stuff, I have some ideas, who knows, I might even make a video about defeating the shopkeeper. Not 100% sure yet, but the idea is definitely there. I am not playing well at all. I'm also starting to wonder if maybe, at least for me personally, having Jade Chakra Locket is just a curse. Like, it's not that it's a bad item, but that just me having it is, is cursed. Because this would now be the second run in a row where, as soon as I picked it up, everything went downhill. So, I could use Dr. Song's help, but she's going to end up taking Chaotic Buster, and I don't want to lose Chaotic Buster. So, maybe if I can find a good cheap Arcana from you. I do like the idea of Wavefront. Uh, let me pick this up, 
take it to Dr. Song and see if she can offer me some help. Critical placebos. Plus 12%. Alright, that's huge. Thank you, Dr. Song. Alright, so I'm not worried about whether or not I can upgrade Wavefront. It would be nice, but it's far from top priority. But critical placebos, that's big. Like, if that's... If, with a plus 12% to critical hit rate, so plus 20... That's a 48% critical hit rate. That's massive. You know, look at that. That is... That is amazing. We've, we've got quite a bit of power now. Not that we didn't before, it's just now it's much more evident. There we go. Play it smart, play it cool. Alright, we're making it work. Take the, take the smarter plays, don't get overly aggressive. Yeah, sad thing is, that might end up being, what, being uh, more useful than I give it credit for. I don't exactly have a full suite of relics, so as sad as it is, the best thing I can do might just be... Might just be to buy the health potion. And this is why I hate the, hate the water-based ice archers. Matter of fact, now I know I have no choice but to buy the health potion. I believe this is what you call in Binding of Isaac the Death Spiral. You can sometimes pull yourself out of it, so I got exactly like half a second to perform an attack there. Look at that, I don't even get a chance to attack anything, and they're Johnny on the fucking spot. This is a really shitty fight. Once again, I have to concentrate on, you know, not dying. Alright, and Wings of Icarus is okay. Nothing I'm gonna write home about, but it's okay. I get the opportunity to push a few enemies into pits, it'll be a little bit of health back, but not enough to make it worthwhile, especially when in the shop they want 200 for it. If they were to charge maybe like 150 for it, then it might be worthwhile, or if, it were to, if they were to leave it at its current price point and probably, and probably charge, say... Let's just give a nice little estimate of, say, 10 health instead of 3. That would make it more worthwhile. It's taffy. Alright, you got anything good for me? Not really. Alright, it was worth looking, though.
But I'm realizing now that Auditor's Talisman probably would have been the better choice instead of just buying another health potion, but pretty sure I didn't have an option at that point. If I didn't take the health potion, pretty sure I would have been dead. getting a little tense. Doing what I can to survive, but... I also openly admit that improper use of Chaotic Buster has, has been leading me to some, uh, to some unnecessary harm. It's not a spell I use often, so I don't always think of its applications. You know, at least give a brother credit for trying. But I haven't given up yet. You'll know when I've given up. And this is not that time. Unicorn outfit! Destroys all projectiles in the area when hit by a projectile. I like that. Okay, I don't need any more max health. I'm actually kind of of the mind that right now I've wasted my time trying to <laughs> boosting my max health. Damn tiny crocodile heart has just left me in shambles. So, uh, <clears throat> you can see why a fella might not be too thrilled by having even more max health. Not that I think I even have any movement arcana, like, I don't even know what that is. I don't know what counts as a movement arcana and what's just, oh hey, that's a spell. Bouncing Surge. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need that for the Sura fight. Hell, I could probably just use it now. I don't oftentimes like to like to bring this up, but God, I could really use the Vampire's eyeglasses right about now. The reason why I phrase it like that is because for a long time, and hell, even now, Vampire's eyeglasses have been seen as kind of this game's, like, super crutch. I suppose in a way, like, people see items like Brimstone in... <laughs> in Isaac. It's just a straight-up hard carry item, and I openly, I openly admit that, but right now, that's kind of what I need. Another elemental summoner. Ugh, the elemental summoners are... I think... I may have finally made a decision about the enemy I dislike the most, and it's just elemental summoners in general. That was stupid of me.
Alright, they're gonna, they're gonna bring the nightmares out. Alright, so I know just about all the things I don't want to see here. So let's see what they give me. I can deal with Counter Rogue. Mystic Monopole does. Let's have a look. S significantly lowers the knockback of all Arcana. Man, it doesn't really matter now. Typically, though, I don't really want my Arcana's knockback to be reduced. Right about now, though, it doesn't make a difference, so I'm just going to take it and call it good. Okay, that update where they add one last shopping opportunity between here, between the third boss and Sura, that update can't come fast enough for the likes of me. Two cycle her, that was nice. Alright. So we're now at Sura. And I can definitively say, yeah, I think Tiny Crocodile Heart was a waste. Now, let's be fair, that's not entirely Tiny Crocodile Heart's fault. It didn't help anything, that's for sure, but wasn't necessarily all the fault of the item. Good lord, Chaotic Buster does a lot of damage. Now, just to, just to reiterate something I said earlier, I might do a video on unlocking the shopkeeper in One Step from Eden. I haven't decided yet. But, at the moment, it's one of the ideas that I have in mind. If I can find a good a good time to hit him with with this, like right here, out of the waste. Oh, hey, I have another Siggy.
All right, I'm surprised that I won. Oh my goodness. All right, that was an unnecessarily stressful run. I blame I blame most of it on Tiny Crocodile Heart and Elemental Summoners. So, there you go. Tiny Crocodile Heart and Elemental Summoners, you suck. You make my day that much worse and you also cut into my friggin ah, You cut into my friggin commentary. He made me feel like an idiot. You guys, no. No good for you. No good! So keep in mind, I blame the kind of lame commentary on this video on Elemental Summoners and Tiny Crocodile Heart. <sighs> not sure if that puts Tiny Crocodile Heart on my blacklist. I'm really not sure yet. Critical placebos, though? Oh, that was probably the smartest play of the game. Oh, critical placebos, you, you are my friend. So, when in doubt, never ever rule out going to Dr. Song. Sometimes what she has for you is just what the doctor ordered. I'll leave it up to you as to whether or not you think that pun was intended, but thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the video in the comments below. Let me know if you have any ideas for beating the for beating one step for Eden's shop one step from Eden's shopkeeper. And I will see you guys in the future with some new content. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will be seeing you.